what is up everybody this is g million here and welcome welcome to another video um this month i didn't watch a lot of movies in the theater well didn't watch a lot of movies in general because um i skipped a movie or, or two and um yeah i thought more movies were gonna be out in june but i guess not uh like I said, I thought I was going to watch more movies, but nope. So I got, let's see. I can't see my mouse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, okay, technically eight movies because um, I accidentally selected some pictures I wasn't supposed to. So out of two, out of all these movies, I haven't seen two of them. So I'll just leave those on the bottom. Um, we're just going to get right into Elemental. I initially thought the movie was all right. Um, it was very predictable. Like it started off as something else and it ended up being, uh, what it was in the ads and all that shit. It's about, you know, people migrating from, actually not people, but, um, uh, fire people. I don't, I don't want to say people like, you know, um, in, in this universe, you got these elements, you got, you got earth, air, uh, water and fire, um, a family moved from fire, fire town to, um, Emerald, I mean, uh, elemental city, and they tried to make a life for themselves and they find out that it's really hard because not a lot of people like fire and shit like that. So the movie pretty much. It's about, um, you know, a dude and a girl falling in love and shit like that. But what do you expect? It's Disney and stuff like that. Um, and it's also Disney and they're trying to prove a message. So you know what that means. Um, yeah, signal boosting and all that bullshit. So it was okay. And another thing. It had some jokes for adults and kids, so if you want to do watch this movie, like, you could, um, enjoy it, and the jokes will go over the kids' heads, so that's a plus. I'm gonna put it in the C tier, because it wasn't, like, terrible, terrible, but it was still, like, okay. Like, nothing too bad. Um... Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. The movie was kind of long, and, uh, you know, the build-up was taking a while. I'm like, ooh, this is going to be great. The uh, conclusion is going to be awesome. And bam, to be continued. I knew people said that there was going to be a uh, part three, but I didn't know until after the fact. And I missed, you know, like, well, I didn't miss work for this. I woke up early to watch this movie before going to work and blah 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 but um the animation's good the voice act is good the story is good um overall the movie's good however did not like the cliffhanger ending for that i can't put it in the a tier because i'm sorry i just don't like cliffhanger endings like that even though they announced that there was going to be a third part to the movie if I knew there was going to be a third part to the movie, I would uh, probably not get as pissed off about it. The Blackening. Um, I really enjoyed The Blackening. Like, it was probably the best movie I watched in June, to be honest with you. Like, I knew what I was in for. I knew I was in for a dumb movie about... Um, killings and all that shit, comedy, stupid comedy, and it was, like, it was a fun experience, um, went into an early screening, I was a little late due to traffic, but it, it was a fun experience, go where in the theater is crowded so you could laugh with everybody else, this is a easy, easy, easy A tier. Um, very good. Like, thoroughly enjoyed it. I know it's not gonna be, like, fucking 
MCU of movies are everything everywhere all at once movie, but like it's still a fun movie you can have fun with. Don't bring your kids to it because it's not a kid's movie. All right, Ruby Gilman, Teenager Kraken. Um, what can I say? Um, watch my video that I just uploaded not too long ago. Um, the story's better than Elemental, and but the animation is not so. So you're trading off one thing for another, you know. You're getting a better story, but you're not getting better animation. So, and you 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 don't get fucking signal boosted it, it it's a family movie it, it's about family issues and all that it's geared towards kids more than elemental so for the adults out there you may not like it as much as elemental or you you may not enjoy the content in there like if you're a kid you're gonna love it like growing up and shit it's way it's way too teenager but what do you expect Teenager. I'm gonna put this in the B tier. Alright. Um this movie right here. Didn't watch it. Didn't have time. The Flash. Um I enjoyed the movie. Like I know a lot of people didn't like it. Ezra Miller was pretty good. I didn't like young Ezra Miller as much as the Default Ezra Miller. Do not want to spoil too much of this. But I know some people didn't like the CG and people did not like the movie in general, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. I like the Flash. Flash is my um, DC superhero. I know people like Batman or Superman and shit like that, but mine is the Flash. And I, I came out enjoying this movie, so I'm going to give it a... Um, I'm going to give it an A tier. I know, I know. Uh, Flamin' Hot. I love this movie. It's based off a true story. Lots some do lots some janitor working for Frito-Lay. And he wants to save his job and save the job of other people. So he, he invented the hot and spicy Cheetos. And it, it was a, it was a good movie. And it's on Hulu and... Uh, Disney Plus, so you don't have to go to a movie theater to watch it, so I thoroughly recommend it. I'm going to put it in S tier. Asteroid City. Do not know what the fuck the movie was about. I had to look it up in a video. It's about a screen. It's about a um, stage play turned into a screenplay and the characters reenact the screenplay while they talk about the um stage play and shit like that a lot of actors in there you know tom hanks scar joe guy from the office a girl from stranger things Willem defoe and shit like that i don't and more stars so but did not really understand it i'm gonna put this in the i'm debating c or d i'm gonna probably put it in the d it it's just not for me. I'm sorry. Like, uh. um, Transformers, Beast Wars, or Rise of the Beast. Very good movie. Like this is my second surprise of the month. That was just gonna be another Bayverse movie, but. After doing my research, it wasn't even directed by Michael Bay. It's a direct sequel to Bumblebee that I did not watch. And I found out that this was a direct sequel to Bumblebee, so I need to go back and watch Bumblebee. But it was a good movie. Um, another easy aid. Um, I started this movie, uh, Miscommunications. It's a Filipino movie. I thought it was going to be like Rent a Girlfriend, but it's not. Um, could not finish it. It feels like the female lead is trying to force a relationship with the male lead. And it, it's just weird. If you're not into um, Filipino-style movies, then you're not going to like it. Which is, I am not into Filipino-style movies, so I did not like it at all. 
and I stopped an hour through. Not even an hour through, maybe like 15, 20 minutes through. So, yeah. That's my list. S rank, um, Flamin' Hot, A rank, um, The Blackening, The Flash, and Transformers. B, B rank, um, you have Spider-Man, uh, Ruby Gilman, and C rank, Elemental, and D rank Asteroid City. So yeah, that's the movies that I watched. Um, did not watch a lot of movies this month, like I said. Um, hopefully, hopefully, let's just say July would be a better month. And when it comes to the movie list, I'm thinking it will be a better month. And that's the next video I'm gonna make. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a good evening. Please leave a comment and please subscribe to my channel and like the video. That would be amazeballs. I'll see you later.